the daughter of Zion. Behold, your king comes. Your king is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. And as good as God is, as merciful as he is, in that phraseology where God says, go and tell the daughter of Zion, there are qualifications. There are some things that we must do in order to qualify ourselves to get under the flow. Turn to your neighbor right now and tell them, get under the flow. There are some things that we must do to get under the flow. Because the blessings of God will not be stopped. The favor of the Lord is perpetual for those who believe. What God has said He's going to do for your life, He will surely do. But there are conditions that must be met. And it's not for everybody. Are you hearing me? It's not for everybody, but it is for anybody. Well, how can that be, Pastor? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's for anybody, but it's not for everybody. It's for those who will believe it. It's for those who will receive it. He said, go and tell the daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming. From the research that I could find, which was very limited, it said that the daughter of Zion is that group of people that has breakthrough. They got to the place where they knew how to praise the Lord. Yeah. Pray that they were living in a type of covenant relationship with God that caused them to praise God and not back up, not sit down, not keep quiet, not worry about what other people thought. They made a joyful noise. They didn't give yeah. God a sound. Yeah. They didn't give God a sound. 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 They
the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You tell my people, your king is coming. Your answer has already been released from heaven. Praise God. He's already on the way to meet your need and break the bondage of your life. Your king is on the way. Praise the Lord. Stand in your feet with you right now and lift your hands to God. And start praising right here. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you today, God. Lord, I thank you today, Lord God, for the triumphal entry of Jesus. I thank you for trying, God, over this people right here and right now. I declare triumph to you. People of God, I declare triumph to you. I declare victory over your life right now because you are daughters of Zion. You are people that know how to praise the Lord in spite of your circumstances, difficulties, and what things look like. I declare over your life that your king is coming. Your answer is already on the way. And praise God, you will lift your hand and just praise him from your mouth. Begin to say, hold his hand to God with a voice of triumph right here. Your king has come. Your king has come. I'd like for the worship team to come down here right here. Just keep praising the Lord all around this church. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands all around this church. Hallelujah. I want to ask you a question this morning. Are you a daughter of Zion? Are you in a relationship with God? Do you know him today? Hallelujah. Do you know him? There are many in the crowd that day that said, who is this? And if you're here today, and that's you in the crowd, you don't know him in relationship. You don't know him as the Messiah, the Savior. You don't know him as the anointed one that has come to supply your need. You're the one in the crowd that says, who is this? Why don't we just fix that right here, right now? Why don't you just get out of your seat as we begin to sing this song again and make your way down to these altars today? And let's, let, let's, let us introduce you to the one that can help you more than anything else can help you. We're going to sing this song as we sing it. You can come today, you can invite people, you know who 